Once again guys, welcome to another episode. Today I want to take you through a project that I've been doing down in in in, uh, in Rongo sub county that is in Gere village. This project uh, I'll just give you a, a, a small history about the project. I got this client from online that is on our YouTube page when I received this client's call from the from online he asked me that Keith I've already done the entire interiors of my house the only thing that is remaining is just the kitchen would you be easy or flexible to just go down and take measurements do your site visit and give me a quote just specifically for the kitchen only and I said why not I came down took measurements went back did designs shared with him he was happy and then I gave him a quote and here we are we have already installed the kitchen and also without forgetting I've just noticed that uh, we are getting a number of clients from the diaspora which is a very good thing our people from the US our people from the UK are developing back at home and actually giving us a, uh, unique styles styles that actually are very ad adorable in the US those are the same things that we are doing here and even in this project that is exactly what we have uh, incorporated and I would also want to just say that uh, in most cases when we are doing designs for our clients we normally get the ideas listen to the ideas combine the ideas with our ideas and creatively put something together present it back to them and in uh, with in an intention of just giving them something slightly even better than what they had anticipated and in this project that is what I want to talk about let's walk in So guys, this is the kitchen and uh, to be specific, we actually did the boxings for the kitchen, we did the high level kitchens, we did the, the marble top, we did the handles, we have done the sink, we have done the provision for just specifically this kitchen cabinet. We haven't done the tiles. We didn't do the ceilings, so I will just take you through the specific details that uh, we uh, incorporated in this kitchen. So this kitchen is a combination of two colors, uh, a white and an ash gray, uh, which uh, we actually debated between us and our client because in normal cases most, uh, most kitchens are coming in uh, one monochrome color, but in this specific one, the client wanted uh, a combination of at least two colors. Then we did this in the design, and then we gave them white uh, high-level cabinets. That is the top cabinet. That is, this is the cabinet that is housing the hood. And then this is a, a, a tall cabinet on the left-hand side, and three tall cabinets on the on the on the. This is the tall cabinet on the right-hand side, and the two three cabinets on the on on my left. All these are in white, and then the rest, and then also the other tall cabinets on my on my, on, on on this far end are also in white. But the entire low-level cabinets are in this ash ash gray color, ash gray color as you can see, nicely done. And even the combination between this and the white has blended very nicely. And then when we came all the way to this other side, we decided we are not going to do white. We decided to combine these to look as one item, and then it flows all the way as it comes to this other side. So the white is just on the top level cabinets. The tall cabinet and the low level cabinets are in white. And then the other thing that we actually supplied in this kitchen is the marble top, which is beautifully laid and it has actually blended very nicely with the, with the, with the kitchen color. And without forgetting, our signature is actually the double lipping. In normal cases, people supply this thing in single lipping, which is 20, 20 millimeter. As we try as much as we can to make it as thick as possible, and uh, we, 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 uh, we supply them in 40 millimeter which has been done nicely both on the front and the back and then it, it flows all the way to this other end and it looks thick and straight and well done which I also like and then without forgetting we never knew the, the tiling is going to be done so we, did, we wanted to just do a backsplash which has also been done nicely a combination of what has been done on the top that is the, the marble that was on the top is what we are using at 100 millimeter around then the aging is just a simple bevel on the edges 
which flows all the way nicely and trims the entire kitchen nicely all the way to the other side. Then when we come to the windows, we finish our window window boards with the, with the same uh, granite or the same marble top, which has also been done very nicely. Then this merges with the lower backsplash and then it covers so the entire part of the sink is well catered for. So whether water will spill around this area, it will never be affected. So there was actually no need for tiling the entire space but uh, in this case it, uh, it was done but if it were us doing this thing probably we would have used the, uh, the L-shaped type of uh, corner strip and then even on the edging around this particular point we normally do uh, uh, an edging which is a corner strip which is in L-shape so that we just separate the tile and the wall properly instead of the cell of the mortar that has been done here then another thing that you'll notice is the is the socket even the the selection of the socket uh, I, I'm thinking maybe we uh, after I when when this was done I was not here but once I leave here I will advise my client probably this will have to be changed so that if you have a beautiful kitchen the socket should be beautiful and all of them should be well aligned the guy who was doing this did it in a rush and he was not he didn't have a, the entire or the end product or the end picture of what we wanted to achieve and that is why at times I advise my clients that uh, especially when we are doing the kitchen we would recommend that uh, if you have to subcontract us just to do the cabinets please even consider giving us the tile works give, uh, consider giving us uh, even the electrical works because uh, if we do this thing as one the end product is one but uh, if these things are done by different people, then the end products would look different or the products will not uh, be one item. So I would, uh, this one I will supervise, this one I'll make sure someone comes and does this properly so that uh, things look neat. But uh, I also just wanted to show my people, or my clients that uh, for sure if you gave us the entire project or the entire piece or the entire everything, then you get everything as a package and everything is properly done as compared to when uh, the tiler is a different person, the electrician is a different person and the, and the plumber is a different person. So you get different things with different uh, finishes because not everyone is perfect, not everyone has, a, has an eye to detail. So this is one thing I would just want to talk about and I would say anytime maybe you're giving me a kitchen, anytime you're giving me maybe a bathroom, let me have the entire package so that whatever I do, we don't have to have the blame games or we don't have to maybe say so and so did that and that. And to go ahead, if you look at this kitchen nicely, this is a well polished, spray painted uh, type of door. Uh, well done. And uh, history behind this, I was just actually going to tell you something. My client uh, got my got our contacts online, subcontracted us to do this kitchen. We were given an opportunity to go ahead. I think that was late. Uh, early February, then we fabricated the carcasses, we came and installed. That took us a very short period of time, I think in a week's time we, we had already done the carcasses. Then we embarked on doing now the, the final thing, which is the, the, the doors and the drawer faces and the side panels. And then you see now a combination of white and the ash white, where normally what we do, we, we come up with a design, we do the cutting list, and then we give these orders to our factories to fabricate them for us. And then in most cases, once I've given that, uh, the, we, I have my team that I work with, guys will go and pick the items and come to the site. I was just lucky enough because this was a special order. I had to go myself and check before they were released. A month down the line or three weeks down the line, when I went down to check, that was, I think, uh, I uh, think uh, towards the end of February, I noticed these doors were not uh, ash white, but they were actually an off white. And funny enough, probably they would have looked like this. They would be like white and this. So I ended up repeating the entire job. I decided to cancel the entire the entire faces and whatever that had been done, and I ordered a new order for new doors and whatever, new doors, new faces, and new panels. At that particular point, because this client has just gotten my contacts online, 
and he started getting worried and he was wondering why are we taking long i decided i i i, I tried to convince him to tell him that whatever we were to supply i was it was not to my satisfaction and i've decided to repeat the entire job and he was not happy at all at all at all and he could not understand because you see he's just gotten us online and uh, the online problems online problems sometimes people go and con people so he was i think on the other hand he thought maybe i had conned him not knowing that i was going through a struggle just to give him a proper and an and a kitchen that he will be happy we went through a bit of a struggle but i told him sir once i'm done with the kitchen you will be very happy when i finished and supply this kitchen compared with the entire things that have been done in this house when you walk around you just notice that uh, this stands out completely from the rest of the other items and i'm happy that my client was happy even when i was asking him that can i go down and now take videos take a video take pictures he told me keith you're welcome home any time he's extremely happy and i'm also happy that uh, this has happened and uh, in that perspective just to wind up i would say that uh, guys uh, we are not con men it might take us a bit of time at times to supply your thing be, uh, because of some challenges that at times come about during the construction period at times you might just order something when you go down it is different or even they've cut for you a cutting list that is that belongs to someone else or some things are missing so you have to place another order and it takes a bit of time uh, some people might not be able to understand that but i would assure you that it might either take time but we will not fail to supply it may take a bit of time probably 2 weeks or probably a month later but we will not fail to supply look at our kitchen beautiful well done doors if you look at the lines beautiful straight lines if you look at the handles properly done handles if you look at the accessory even and the way the door closes it's a beautiful soft closing door the skirting has not been done because the tiling work has uh, was is actually been given to someone else and uh, the guy who was doing the tile we noticed that he wanted to do the tiling with uh, with, with with cement but uh, when you're doing tiling on a board you ne normally don't use uh, cement you use a special glue and uh, when they went around to check for that glue it was not available in the, around this area so i had to come with one of the i had to order uh, a special glue that is adhesive that holds tile against uh, wood i brought it the guy will come and finish and that is it if you look at the drawers drawers also whether it is in the village whether wherever will give you proper accessories look at the way even the way it closes nicely goes properly and shuts down not making any noise you will not even hear noise you will not hear anything then when it it comes to lines look at this line against this line against this line we make sure our lines are straight when you look at these lines again from this part, from this side of the drawers to this side of the drawers the lines join properly the horizontal lines are horizontal all through and the vertical lines are also vertical in the same manner so we are trying to make sure that our details are gotten very right without forgetting because at times you'll find that these joints are not even they're not even working together so in this case we try as much as we can to just give you proper jobs and uh, and that is what that is some of the works then also when it came to the selection of the of this uh, double sink again my client sends me a, a, a sink and then I, will, I was like sir i don't think that is a sink that i'm gonna install in the kitchen that i'm doing so guys again when it comes to selection of accessories at times we buy accessories and appliances for our clients but in some cases clients would opt to go for their own accessories and even appliances so when it came to even selecting this kind of sink my client had already bought another sink for me which i didn't like the normal bowl with the overlapping uh, 
metallic uh, grill on the on the right hand side i didn't like it and i told him sir i don't think that would work for for this particular kitchen he accepted he gave me an opportunity to select what i wanted and i went ahead and selected this sink this is a nice double bowl sink with the it's very nice it's even deeper when in the in the in, inside here it, it's deep enough and even the the material that it that is made of it it is strong very sharp lines if you can look at it nicely the lines are very sharp well done even the backsplash behind is well done it has a breather here it has a breather out there so that when there is an overflow it can overflow out and then it has this to control the the in and out for if you want water to go all this i did the selection and then also the this this is a pool type type uh, uh, mixer so you pull it and you can even wash it from anywhere or even when you want to wash around here you can do that so it is a proper type of selection and uh, so the remaining parts that are that are, i need now to do is uh we need to bring in a double door fridge this is 915 normally for a double door and uh, this is going to be done by our client I'm not so sure, but uh, probably he told us that uh, in the next one month he'll be in Kenya. We might help him to to get a proper uh, fridge, a double fridge for this space that will fit exactly there. Then, if you see, if you have watched most of our kitchens, normally this particular point or normally this this particular area is the cooking area, and we have always had uh, cabinets, and then you have a hob on top, and the and the marble floors all the way. But in this but in this project, my client decided to tell me that Keith, I just want a stand alone type kind of a cooker. That is a cooker that has an oven down and a cook and the six burners on top, which fits exactly nicely here. And we agreed on that. And actually, it's also another beautiful way. In fact, I think it's the best option. So it will come, and once it's been put, it will look nice. On top here, we've done provision for the for the hood. And uh, in normal cases, we actually provide a PowerPoint inside there, and then we provide a hole here so that when you're mounting your hood here, the power cable goes through here and you plug in on the other side, and you can still utilize the space on top. And then now the other thing that remains is just maybe the the roller blind that comes there, then the arrangement, and then you place things here, there, and this kitchen is done. And it's a beautiful kitchen i'm happy so guys i think this kitchen being in uh, gere gere sub location in uh, rongo i think this is a piece that uh, people around will actually even appreciate these are things that we do in runda these are things we do in taiga but we are now in the county and i'm actually very happy because we are moving deep in the counties there's one coming up in mosoriot nandi county again the client is in the us another one again also in eldoret from the us another one in kitengela from the us so this year guys everything is from diaspora but we don't want to forget our guys around please please guys let's also move together let's do these things thanks again guys for taking your time to just watch our video and as usual do not forget to subscribe to our youtube channel and also on our social media pages at keith interiors where style meets elegance